Hey guys, John from FlyMyHealth.com, and today we're going to be talking about ADSB airspace, where exactly you can and can't go come 2020 if you don't upgrade your aircraft with one of these fancy receivers that has ADSB out capability. So most of you are already familiar with what ADSB is and that requirement that comes effective January 1st, 2020. Now, for those of you who aren't, there's a link in the description below. And also, uh, there's a link in the description below for this map here that's a Google Earth plugin that'll show you all of the airports and airspace on this map where not only can you receive ADSB um, traffic and weather information, but where you can and can't go if you have that equipment. So if you notice all these red, blue, and green areas, the blue are Bravo airspace, green is Charlie airspace, and the red is also um, basically right around the Bravo airspace. And those are areas that today require a uh, mode Charlie transponder, mode C transponder, and that you already cannot go if you don't have a mode C. So basically, if you have an antique aircraft with no electrical system, you can still fly in the vast majority of the airspace and say you keep your 150 or your 172 with just a regular mode Charlie transponder. Well, you can still go to all your class Delta airports. You can still fly from Venice to Key West or up the co in the middle of Florida. This green airspace here, this green map, is showing you where you start to receive ADSB coverage based on your altitude. And so we can choose these different altitudes here over on the left to show us where we're gonna get more and more coverage and more and more reception of basic weather information and traffic information if you do make that investment to your ADSB receiver. Now, I would encourage most people to hold off a little bit because the technology keeps getting better and cheaper and you'll also, ultimately you want to get ADSB in and out. So not only do you want to get the out requirement, which is the requirement to fly through the Bravo and Charlie airspace, but having ADSB in will give you all sorts of traffic and weather information in the cockpit that'll better improve situational awareness as long as you don't let it distract you like a lot of the great technology that we already have in our cockpit does. So I would really encourage you guys to download this map, check it out, play with it, play with the different layers in it, check out where you can and can't go, make the decision if it's right for you to actually spend the money and buy an ADSB out transmitter. Ultimately, you just want to ask yourself, if you're going to be flying in places where you currently need a mode C transponder, then you'll probably want to spend the money. But if you're not going international, if you're not going over 10,000 feet, and you're not flying through Bravo Charlie airspace, then you may go ahead and save the money. Uh, if you do decide to go ahead and buy the transponder, um, you can buy it as basically an all-in-one transponder with in-out capability, and it'll replace your basic 4096 code transponder as well, so it's just a drop-in replacement. And usually for that whole package with a GPS antenna to all tie into it, all installed, runs somewhere around three to 4,000, and it'll probably get cheaper. And these aren't things that have to be installed by an avionics tech. It could easily be installed by your regular a &P if they're familiar with the system. So just some food for thought. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think if you're planning on upgrading your aircraft or if you think it's really necessary for the aircraft that you rent to have this equipment on board. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and thank you for all your support on Patreon. It is a huge help in making the dream of a comprehensive free online ground school a reality. As always, if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below and be sure to share us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all the other social media sites so your friends and family can find us and also take advantage of this great free resource. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video and subscribe to our channel to make sure that you keep up with all our latest episodes as they're released. And remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly8mikealpha.com. We'll see you all next time.